Are you a bad singer? Do you think you're a bad singer? Did you click this because you think you can't sing? Please subscribe. Hey buddies, welcome back to the amazing channel. I'm Zayn Rima and listen, I'm not professional. I'm not a vocal coach or anything. This is completely subjective because everyone can sing. What makes somebody a bad singer or a good singer? Everybody has room to improve. Don't let this title fool you. I made this video mainly for all of us to recognize the things we need to work on if we're lacking in some factors I'm about to talk about. I made a list that you can print out. It's free, so check out the description. A good list to have so that you can cross it out. I'm doing good on this or oh, I need to work on that. So these are areas that I think we can all improve on. And I definitely need to check stuff off in this list too. So I'm not perfect guys. We can learn and grow together. If I'm sweating guys, it's hot. And here that fin is not strong enough. In my opinion, what makes a good singer really depends on these two factors. One, having a good tone quality. And two, being able to sing on key. So those two together, I feel like in my opinion could make a really good singer because if you have somebody who has a really good tone of voice but they can't sing on key I keep on falling in and out of love. do you know what i actually can't hear that song anymore honey that wasn't even the melody sweetie she doesn't even know it's not the melody she's not she's just not a good singer can i try something else hmm. if you have somebody that sings on key but their tone of voice is like unpleasant to the ears i was beat and complain I've been had <laughs> But you get what I mean and this isn't to diss and um this I don't mean to be mean but more so observant so that we can all recognize these things. I'm not professional, I'm not a vocal coach, but having a good tone I believe starts with breathing the right way. I have a video on like how to not sound nasal when you sing and that plays along with having a good tone. You can sing nasally and it's not gonna sound the best because you're letting the air escape out of your nose. I think that you should sing more from your mouth and let the air out of your mouth. Some people want it all. You see what I mean? Even though I'm on key, it doesn't sound that pleasant because of my tone. If I fixed that and I made sure that I sing out of my mouth more than my nose, try to resonate from here. I'm not a vocal coach. I don't know how to explain myself that well. So if I change that, some people want it all that I do. It's all about breathing. Breathing from your diaphragm too to help support your notes and it helps have a good tone quality. So click this video if you wanna learn how to sing from your diaphragm. Another thing is when you sing more relaxed. I've seen a bunch of singers who kinda forces each note and it sounds, it just sounds forced. <laughs> Even though you're singing on key. Some people want it all. You see, it's like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Think more relaxed comes with breathing also. If you're breathing enough, let it flow. The physical things instead of the physical things. Um, I'm sweating guys. So be more relaxed when you sing. And another thing is sing with your natural voice. And I have a video on that too. I'm just gonna keep referencing. Please subscribe. Everything is free on here. Free tutorials, even though I'm not professional. It's up to you. And another thing to improve your tone quality is to sing with an open mouth. Don't close it off and let the air skip like that. It's so small. Some people, yeah, you know, ha, huh, instead of huh. So number two, the second factor is being able to sing on key. You should be able to know if you're singing on key or not, and it's that feeling. So practice getting that feeling so that you can catch yourself when you're singing a song and you notice you're off key, and you can quickly fix it because some people don't realize it. they sing from beginning to end off key and you don't want to do that. Another thing is being able to follow a melody because even if you sang it at a lower key to be able to sing the higher notes, make sure that you can follow through with that entire key. Or if in a song it normally happens where there's a key change and you take it up just like a half step higher, you gotta know and detect, okay, it's like this right now, now I have to go like this. Follow through with it. And again, that's with ear training too and I'll show you ways to recognize it. Or I'll do a test to see whether or not you can detect if something is on key or off key stay till the end and another thing is just kind of like a bonus is to be able to stay on tempo and not sing too 
slow or sing too fast, just being at the right time. And that really ties in with breathing right because if you run out of breath, you're gonna skip a beat sometimes because you need to use that to catch your breath. So those are the things. You can download the free list I have. You can print it, check it off at home, work on those things that you think that you should work on. And I'm gonna print it out too. Um, actually, I'll just download it on my iPad. But anyways, those are the factors that I think determines whether or not you're a good singer or a bad singer. But don't take that term too harshly. Just know that that means you got to work harder, eventually be a great singer. That's just like entry level, like good singer, blah, 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 blah. What makes a great singer? I'll talk about that in another video and on my lip sync podcast, the only singing podcast that I know of because <laughs> I don't really know. Bonus clip. I'm going to do three examples. I want you to tell me in the comments if it's on key or off key. You don't even need an instrumental to be able to tell if somebody's off key or not. Now, it's a pretty easy test. So, example number one. She don't smile too much, but when she does, it's just enough. Oh, I really care what you think. Oh, dressed up, but it's all for show. Gotta play the part just so I know. She don't cry too much, but when she does, it's just enough to make me feel bad. How do I get back where I came from when everything is all changed so much? If it's what you like, lipstick ready, painted eyes. Okay, comment down below which one's off and which was on. It was kind of easy to tell, but some people might not get it. I'll heart the ones that get it right. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> what do you mean? I'm sorry by the way. Nothing falls. <laughs>